members of his family, family right. We're members that have taken part of his redemption, redemptive right. We're people that he has died for and is our sacrifice, our substitute, is the birthright that came <clears throat> through the sacrifice, God bless you, through the sacrifice of Calvary. Now, Esau had a birthright. You have a birthright. Esau sold his own birthright. I will not sell my birthright. <laughs> you will not sell your birthright. One day he was tired coming from the farm. And then he said, Jacob, my brother, can you give me that pottage? Part of that pottage? I'm hungry. And Jacob said, one condition. You can't go to the kitchen and cook for yourself. You can't wait 30 minutes and prepare the food. You want my lentils? Give me your birthright. And he said, all right, all right. What will birthright do me? Take the birthright. And then, uh, instead of saying God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Esau, no. He has sold the birthright. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of, God of Jacob. God becomes your God fully when you keep that birthright. When you say, I will not sell my birthright. The God of power, your God. The God of healing, your God. The God of wonders, your God. The God of satisfaction, your God. The God of all supply, your God. When you keep that birthright and you don't sell that birthright because of a plate of rice or because of the requirement or need of the flesh you will not sell your birthright this god will be your god this christ will be your savior from now and forever in jesus name the passover is going to pass over you now calamity will pass over you judgment will pass over you when I see the blood, I will pass over you. The promise is unto you and to children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The Lord is calling you now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. He wants to forgive all your sins, all your iniquities, all your transgressions. He wants to pass over you. He wants judgment to be something forever gone from your life. So that from tonight, as you stand up, as you walk, anywhere you go, no judgment again. No punishment again. No evil again. But you must clear your life of that leaven we read about. You must clear your life of all that evil sin, everything that is called sin, transgression, evil, iniquity. Say, Lord, I did it in the past. I am sorry. I turn away from them. Forgiveness will come immediately. If you want that forgiveness right now, that salvation right now, and you want judgment to pass, you want punishment to pass, you want all the consequence of the sins you have committed to pass away from your life, wherever you are now, raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. God bless you. Raise up that hand. And then you are ready that all the level, all the evil, all the sin, all the transgression, you're willing to take away. You're turning away from them with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Raise up that hand. God bless you. Anywhere you are, here, and in any other location, as you raise up your hand, you can stand up. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.
Stand up right there. You say, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're coming out of the land of bondage. You're coming out of the land of darkness. And the Lord is going to pass over. That judgment will not come over your life anymore. While you're standing up, just bow your head there and say, Lord, I thank you for this mercy. I thank you for this chance that all my sins can be forgiven, that all my iniquity can be taken away. Lord, I accept. Hey, everybody, I'm John C.